Welcome to August Leaco Challenge. Today's problem is H index. Yes, my favorite, H index. Given an array of citations, each citation is a non-negative integer of a researcher. Write a function to compute the researcher's H index. They give you the definition here, but basically the H index is the index point at which this researcher has at least that many citations, at least that many papers with that many citations. So here the answer would be three because we have at least three papers with three citations, and that's the maximum number that we can we can use. So they give you a few hints here. First, uh, you can sort. You could um, think about what the H index is represented by, and also use extra space. Now let's start off by thinking about what we can do if we sort the the array. So if we have this example and we sort it in order, it would end up looking something like what, 0, 1, 3, 5, 5, 6. And each one of these points uh, is going to be representative of the H index. And at index number 0, we have at least five papers with zero citations or, or more. Well, obviously, that's going to be the length, right? What about at index point 4? Well, that, there we have at least four papers with one or more. Here we have three, here two, and at the final we only have six, one at point six, right? So why not just sort? And what we'll do is um, go in order and, and return as soon as the H index is, is uh, what's that? Or I should say the, the value of the citation that's at the H index is greater or equal to this H index number. So that's fairly simple enough. Let's start by initializing the length of citations and we'll sort our citations. And we'll, then we'll just say, all right, for I uh, index number and value in enumerates the citations. We'll say, hey, if the H index that we calculate is I guess less than less than or equal to the value that we're on, then we just return the n minus i. So that's the uh, h index. And if we just don't find anything, then we return zero. If we do that, that should look like it's working. And that's the straightforward method. Now there's lots of variations. Uh, you can like simplify this to make it a one-liner and stuff like that, but what if we want to do this in O of n time complexity? Because this sorting here is going to require it to become n log n, right? So could we, uh, like this hint number three said, create some sort of object, use some extra space, and do this in uh, without sorting? We can do it in O of n. We can't do it in one pass, but possibly do it in a couple passes, uh, making it O of n time. So how can we do that? All right, well, let's just say we can't sort. Uh, what object can we use to indicate what we're trying to find out? So say that we had, we can't use a dictionary because the order matters, right? But if we had a list where each index point is calculating the total count of how many citations we have, then maybe something like that gets becomes possible. So um, we're gonna need an extra one because we have also the zero citations here we can say, this is going to be index 5, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We'll say, hey, if, we, if the number is 5 or greater, then uh, increase this because we have a count right there. Because ultimately, the h index could only be, the highest one is going to be the length of the, is going to be the length of the list, right? So say that um, we see, oh, okay, we'll start with 3 and say, okay, we have at least one number here with, wait, that's not three. <laughs> so Sorry, get rid of this. Here's zero, one, two, three. We have one with at least three. We got one with zero. We got uh, one with five or greater. So one, one here, and then five, we have two. So now we have this temporary object. And we can say, to calculate the H index, each one of these is now representing an H index we can return we'll say, hey, do we have at least five at this point? No, we don't, so we keep continuing. And do we have at least four up to this point? No, okay, and we're gonna be accumulating the total sum 
like moving it forward. So at this point we have two. Here we add this and now we have three. Do we have at least three? And we do. So we can return three there. And you can see that we've created this in one O of n. And then we go backwards to that, which is also O of n. So this becomes O of n time complexity. The problem is we need this extra memory space, right? Okay, so how could we do this? Let's uh, get rid of all this stuff and start with creating a temporary object. And we'll just say all these will be zeros for um, whatever in range of n. But we need this plus one here to indicate the zero part as well. So that's a little tricky to remember. Um, so now we have this temporary object and we're going to go through our citations the same way. So for enumerate citations, and we'll ask, the very first thing we want to ask is, is this number um, greater or equal to the length that we have? Because if it is, then we want to just increase the last index point there, right? So if the value is greater or equal to what? Uh, or I should say not greater or equal to, it's, it's greater than n, then we want to increase our um, last point there by one. Otherwise, we take our, our value and we increase that by one. So at this point, we have our temporary object and it should look something like this. So this is the tricky part. Now we want to count backwards and accumulate the total that we have so far uh, by moving backwards because we want to get, of course, the largest H index that we can get. So for i in range of, start with n, and we'll say minus 1, minus 1. And first we'll add to our total whatever is um, at our temporary point. So you put that. And if our total is um, if our total is, I guess, greater or equal to this i point that we've calculated, because we want five, four, three, right? So greater or equal to this i, then return the i. And I want to say that's it. So like, I don't think we need any more than that. So oop. let's get rid of my comments there and see if this is working. OK, it looks like it is. Let's go ahead and submit that. I hope I didn't forget any edge cases. And there we go. Accepted. So this is O of n time complexity. Pretty tricky to figure this out. Um, but it's essentially using extra space and creating kind of like a counter. But we can't use a dictionary. We need to have this in, in a list. And after that, you can kind of figure out, oh, we can still figure out how many uh, total, total papers we have with this many citations by moving backwards. All right, so that's it. So thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.